I'm Florian from Venom Trickshot and today I'm gonna cover another mess trickshot tutorial. This is another classic shot, it's what we call the three reel jump shot or the corner jump shot. It's, uh, you know, I don't really have a, a fantastic name for it, but everybody knows that shot. First up, we're gonna set up a combo. So I'm gonna do one nine as usual. We're gonna set up right there in the corner. Of course, you know, you could do it without the combo once you know how to do it, but at first, you know, it's a, it's a pretty difficult shot, so it could be a lot of adjustment. So personally, if I do it for a show, I like to have the combo. It gives me more uh, security as far as making the shot. So the rest, we're gonna need all the other balls. So we pretend we're gonna play nine balls as usual. And all you gotta do really is kind of make a half circle there right by the corner. So you could make more space here. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little more space here, just like that. And we're gonna go from one diamond to the other, okay? Just like that, kind of space them evenly. Keep going, there you go. Okay, so now that you have a pretty even half circle, diamond to diamond, your shot's almost all set up. So, all you gotta do here is put the cue ball. Cue ball's pretty simple. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the left edge of the cue ball with the pockets cut in line, basically. So, um, this table is pretty tight pockets, so it's not easy, but like if you have a bigger, po bigger pocket table, it's gonna be a lot easier to jump the ball too. So, we're gonna get this one out a little bit more than usual. All right, so the shot itself is, you're gonna hit the cue ball, it's gonna hit that side of the rail here, gonna jump over the line of balls there, goes short, long rail, short rail, long rail, back here into the one to make the nine ball. So really the whole key here is to try to jump that cue ball right into the point of the corner over the balls. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of elevated bridge, just like that, but not too much because then you won't be able to jump it. So just, you know, you're gonna have to find the right elevation for you. So some tables, because they're more distance or less distance, depending size of the pockets, you're gonna have to adjust up and down a bit. Now, whatever you're gonna put in the cue ball is gonna stay the same, which is top, right English. So you're probably gonna aim about one o'clock or maybe two o'clock, something like that. It's in between that zone. And uh, the key here is to have another one of those kind of shorter stroke, simply because when you follow through too much here, you're gonna double kiss the ball on the way there because you're so close to the corner, right? So kind of a short poking more to the ball. Now, because you're aiming into the corner, it is not very simple because if you aim too much on this side, well, first off, you're not gonna be able to jump it and second off, you're gonna send the ball there. So you're gonna have to aim exactly at this spot right here, which is right past the point to send you exactly in that direction, okay? So I think this is pretty much the hardest part of the shot is to try to find the aiming point. So personally, I kind of visualize it and I kind of go from my one or two o'clock on the cue ball straight in line with that point. Now, of course, you know, depending on the table, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit if you play short or long. So, you know, if you play long, which is playing this way, you're gonna miss it this way, you're gonna have to aim more this way. Now, if you place the reverse, you know, you're gonna have to change the same way. So, a lot of adjustment on that shot, very sensitive. Kinda hard not to foul at first there, but once you master the jump shot, it's a very good looking shot, classic trick shot, and it should be part of the repertory of every aspiring trick shot artist. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. There you go. And that's how you make that three, well actually four rail jump rail shot. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a multi-rail jump shot. Remember, if you wanna see more, check out Matt's website and stay tuned for more awesome trick shot videos.